5.2 F, area, volume, and temperature, volume of a rectangular solid. The formula for the volume of a rectangular solid is that volume equals length times width times height. The length is the longest side and the width goes across from it and the height is vertical. In doing the problems, if you misidentify the length, the width, or the height, you will still get the correct answer. This is because the formula only multiplies each of these together and it does not matter which order you put them in. Example 1 shows a rectangular solid. We will be finding the volume of this shape. Remembering that the volume formula is length times width times height. We will therefore label the length, the width, and the height in the figure. We can now set up our equation. The length is 24 sevenths feet. The width is 3 halves feet. And the height is 14 thirds feet. Remember, it is much easier to simplify at the beginning. Therefore, we can simplify right now. As you can see, we have two threes. Three will go into three once, and three will go into three once. You can also see that we have a seven and a 14. I know that seven goes into seven once, and seven goes into 14 twice. I can also see that there is a two on this bottom. Two goes into two once, and it goes into this two once also. I have now eliminated all the numbers to ones, so I'm just left with the 24 on the top over one on the bottom. This will then give me an answer of 24 feet cubed. As you can see, reducing first sometimes helps to avoid more complicated multiplication problems. We will be looking at a story problem in example two. Example two shows a story problem in which we have on Southwest Airlines, the maximum size of a carry-on bag is a length of 24 inches, a width of 10 inches, and a height of 16 inches. How much is packed in this maximum sized bag? Sometimes it is helpful in story problems to draw a quick diagram. Your diagram does not need to be to scale. It is merely an aid to help you figure out the problem. We can label the length as 24 inches and the width as 10 inches with the height as 16 inches. We can now plug this into the formula for volume in which we have the length or 24 inches times the width or 10 inches times the height or 16 inches. We merely need to multiply these three numbers together to get our final volume of 3,840 inches cubed. This is how much can be packed into this maximum sized bag. Remember when doing the formula for rectangular solids that it does not matter which side you label as length, width, or height as they will all be multiplied together.